All right, Nashville Autos today. We're on the campus of MTSU, Middle Tennessee State University. I'm with the lovely Dragon and Transparency. We are here at their library. Dragonet wants to use the resources of their library, so we're going to find out if we're able to. This is a public campus, public university. They shouldn't have any problem with us filming, but who knows. True blue here is the colors of the school, not the police. Yes, we can find the nearest open door and ask them. That's what I'm Especially thinking. Especially about the parking situation. Right. Do they have guest parking? Or... And are we, you know, do they have a problem with us using the library? Oh, no. Legally, they have to allow us to use the library. That's, that's what I thought. to go by, uh, you know, their times. And times. Right, right. And there may be parts that... You have to be registered to use, but my daughter's registered to use. I can get her to give me a pass. I just need to kind of get comfortable with finding where it is. Well, it looks like we might be finding the front. There's a bunch of bicycles. There. Really? Really? Wow. All of their like parking garages are for bikes only. Really? Wow. Motorized bicycles, not motorcycles. Huh. Motorized bikes and regular bikes. We would like to use the resources of the library, but we're unsure about parking. We're not students here. Okay. Is there, do we give you a pass or is there a temporary parking or something? Yeah, after um, the bike park rental, um, they start giving tickets at 530. Okay. You can do one or two things. Um, it's 430. So you can go to parking services right off alumni behind us. Okay. Or you can actually go online and print, print a parking pass, MTSU.edu. Okay. Yeah, um, do they offer parking passes for more than one day? Or Okay. Right, yes. I have some cases coming up where I'm going to need multiple use of the library, so I would have to get a pass every day. Oh, behind the building. Behind, and it says we needed to... You go to the three-way stop sign, you come out of that parking lot, take a left, three-way stop sign, go straight, and you'll see the buses up on the right. That's parking services. Okay. And you can speak with them. Okay, what, what are the hours here? I believe it is 8 to 4.30, it may be 8 to 5. No, here. The library hours. You said after 5.30 we can park for free. How late are they open? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like diseases and like symptoms and treatment and everything. I'm a student. I'm a This is nice. 
Yeah, you know, a big library, four floors. Well, I hope there are old ladies. Yeah. At least I was able to catch my breath a little bit talking to him, and uh, we got the times. And he said he could get a, online and get you a pass printed okay. out so you can do it every day you need to. Yeah, I will. I was hoping I could get one for long term. My daughter may can for me. She tells him something like she's using my vehicle. <laughs> yeah, there you go. They've even got the printer where you can come down here and get your items printed and reduce the cost. I'll just read it here every time. Hey, and you said nothing about us recording. Nope. See, they're not bad here. It is only the officers. Oh, no, we don't want loan, <laughs> loan services, period. <coughs> no. I mean, I sold my whole house to pay for my daughter to go to school. I'm not going to have her in debt just to get out of college. Here's an elevator if you want to go up. Yeah, what is this? What's periodicals? Um, Technology services, periodicals. Market space. Did reference desk is on the first floor. That might have your. I think, isn't this the first floor? Yeah. That reference desk is in here. Oh, then they have information that I can take with me. They may. Yeah, let's check with them. Like pamphlets and such. I, I'm not able to read it. And I'm going to put it all here. Hello. Do you have any pamphlets or information for things such as the law library? You know, times and what you can do if you're not a student here? Um, I don't know if I have any pamphlets. Are you looking for, like, alumni and stuff? Well, I'm not a student. My daughter is. But I'm uh, doing some law cases. I'm not an attorney, mm -hmm. but I'm doing some pro se cases. And I, I'm, there are laws that I just need to look up. I'll have to do it over a period of the next six months or so. So I'm kind of trying to get a feel as to the use of the, of the library, the rules and regulations, and of even the college campus. Gotcha, um, okay. So, uh, in terms of in terms of looking up different laws and stuff, we do have a database. For stuff right, like but that. there, I mean, there are some that I you have the original documents, well, copy original documents of the law set in place from Constitution up to today, correct? I am not too certain about that. No, he's recording. Are you, excuse me, sir, would you happen to be recording? Yes, sir, I am. Okay. Uh, may I ask why? I'm allowed to. Uh, it's a First Amendment protected activity. I understand that, sir, but, oh, wait, whatever. Anyway, um. Well, this would be useful, this, uh, can't you take it. But I'm just, you know, wondering. And I probably need to find the office for registration. I would like to try and take one or two classes. I do not want to do like a full-time student. Gotcha. I've been there. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know in terms of like getting like the classes and stuff. I don't know. I'll be able to help you out because I can like send you like a reference material and right. you can find certain documents. Now, as for those original law documents that you're looking for, um, I understand the way, so the way we have it is a lot of those type of documents mm -hmm. are more digital than they are physical. So and they'd be over there on the computer then? Yeah, and how you would, and how you would get onto those computers as a non-student is you would get a guest login from the service desk, they'll mm -hmm. walk you through the process of setting that up, and then after you have that, you'll be able to access all of the library databases. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
So I mean, it's possible I may not have to even come. I was hoping to get actually case law and things that are exact and not kind of keyed in. Yeah, a lot of times you go on the internet and you try to get to laws. I mean, you can read the actual law, but if you go anything besides the actual code, then it's too much to interpretation and people saying this and saying that, and it's not actual the code written down and, and what it means. And that's what she's wanting to know, to yeah. be able to look up their specific laws. I have to know the fine print of the laws. Gotcha. Um, so, so like, for example, in this state, if they charge you a person with disorderly conduct, okay. that the state code says it requires that if they charge me with it, I would have to have intent to do something wrong. Mm -hmm. And and that's that's, that's wording in the law that we need to know for the laws right. that she's and, looking and up. That doesn't. That's not stated online. Gotcha. So like, so these databases that I am referring to, they're not just like oh, if you Google it or something, okay. and then you find it. These are specific databases that will go in depth on oh, stuff like that. Okay. So cool. uh, I'm trying to think of one that covers that. So let's go into. Well, if could I, you get that information online at home, or, or so when it comes it, to you'd have to log in here. Yeah. So when it comes to the guest logins, they only in terms of accessing our databases, it's only done it, that can only be done here. From okay. Us. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. But yeah, so that's a, good because then I can ask questions if I have problems. Yeah. If I have issues to come up. So. Here, for example, like I've so on databases A through Z on the Walter Library website, what I have here is pretty much just a bunch of different. All I did was I put in legal resources, mm -hmm. uh, and here I'm seeing. And each one of these letters is a different database. Yep. Oh, Every that's. Single one of these is a different database. database. So well, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, this is the one that I was trying to think of earlier. Westlaw. This kind of goes into not just laws but court cases. Um, different situations that, that go on, cur current event type stuff, history well, type stuff. Um, that's what she sounds like she's looking for. Yeah. Yeah, so this this might be a really good starting point. Okay. And not every database has everything, but that's why we've got 10 of them for the exact <laughs> thing. So if you don't find something here, odds are you're going to find something okay. uh, on a different day. Uh, odds are you're going to find the same thing on a different database. Okay. And what, do you have the uh, timing of the of the law library when they're open, their hours. Here. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, and now, is this for the law library or for like, this, this for, office? This is for the general library. Is the reference um, desk different than the regular hours of library? The reference desk does have different hours, so the reference desk closes at 5 p.m. Okay. The rest of the library closes on... Uh, at 8 or whatever it says, yeah. Uh, yeah, at 8, 8 p.m., okay. So you, you got to be here before 5 for the law library, for the reference materials right so. well five p.m. well there are other librarians that will be on the chat after 5 p.m. so if there's nobody here then what you can do is you can go to this ask us tab and odds are somebody is going to be here available to respond to you whether okay. it be directly through the chat system or maybe you can even send an email as well okay yeah thank you appreciate the help man you've been awesome can I ask your name uh, my name is Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, it's nice to meet you, Jeff. I hope I see you again. I'll be in and out of the library. <laughs> awesome. And this is not the law library. This is not the law library. This right here is the reference desk, more for like general library services. Okay, okay, got you. Okay. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. Appreciate you. Hey, you, have a good one. you too. So here's the building. It's right, tell us. but it doesn't tell what's going on in each floor. Pretty, you know, a little bit. Circulation reserve, library instruction, oh, collection management. Yeah. Uh, status. Hmm. Okay, it says the second floor is the James E. Walker Library. In that, I got. No, that says welcome to the library second floor. This whole building is the library, the Walker Library. That's just the second floor of it. Oh, okay. They're telling you what they do up there, I guess. Um, yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice looking building. Oh, I could get comfortable here.
I'm thinking we might want to go before we get yes. a ticket. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's because, they, I mean, we're in their lot. And, uh, but he did tell you, mtsu.edu, to, to get your parking pass so you can print it online and uh, print it at home and, and bring it. And I had to do it every day, but, hey, at least you can go in there and use it. I love that Middle Tennessee State has presidents. I'm going to go up there and look at that next time I'm here. But you're correct. We do not. We don't need no parking tickets. Right. Especially coming back, and I have to come back. But it's, it's a lot nicer than I thought. It's a beautiful building. Thank you, gentlemen. Have a nice day, guys. You too. I ain't paying $5 for no cup of coffee. Huh? I'm not paying $5 for a cup of coffee. Oh, me either. 99 cents at the Mapco, you know. But I know someone that hangs out in those places. Oh. Of course, I don't believe he did. Yeah. 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 Ye